Medium term program has been announced. President Erdogan, we have determined reform steps in seven basic areas. Speaking at the medium term promotion meeting, at the presidential complex, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said, as the government, we fully support the medium term program. The MTP will support us. We did not ignore any problems in the program. We determined reform steps in seven basic areas, said President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said. We do not approach anyone or any idea with prejudice. We are ready to consider all kinds of suggestions that will benefit our country, regardless of who they come from, said, with the policy basket that we will implement in the medium term program. We will remove the inflation problem from our country's agenda. With the support of tight monetary policy, we will reduce inflation to single digits and improve the current account balance. Erdogan. Vice President Savdet Yilmaz announced the medium term program to 024206 at the presidential complex with the participation of relevant ministers and bureaucrats. At the beginning of his speech, President Erdogan wished God's mercy on those who lost their lives in the floods in Kirklareli and Istanbul yesterday, stating that the Ministry of Interior, AFAD, Governorships and other institutions are working hard to relieve the problems of people who were adversely affected by the floods, Erdogan said. Well, I wish mercy to our citizens, whom we have sent to eternity in both our cities. One wish patience to their families and condolences to our nation. Use the phrase, wishing that the medium-term program, which they will share in general terms, will be beneficial for the country, nation and economy. Erdogan congratulated those who contributed to the preparation of the program, Vice President Savdet Yilmaz and all ministries, institutions and non-governmental organizations. President Erdogan said, I would like to thank the representatives of our business world, our chambers, unions, professional organizations, non-governmental organizations and all other stakeholders who contributed to the content of the program with their valuable ideas, criticisms and determinations, said. Erdogan stated that with the presidential government system, Turkey's achievements, especially stability in the administration, are seen and understood much better every day, expressing that the 14th and the 28th of May elections, which went down not only in Turkish political history but also in world political literature, in terms of participation and competition level, were completed with full democratic maturity. Erdogan noted that with the opening of the ballot boxes, all uncertainties disappeared and it was clear who will rule Turkey. Using the expression our people once again said trust and stability. Erdogan continued his words as follows. Thankfully none of the crises, discussions and negotiations that cost our country time, money and energy before have not happened. We have announced our cabinet less than a week after the elections. We have established our staff in the economy and we quickly resumed our journey to serve our country and nation. It is one of the habits of old Turkey. We watch with pity the plight of those who cannot save themselves. Despite the 100 days that have passed since the 28th of May, while some people still can't even raise their heads from fights and internal conflicts, we are doing our job and focusing on finding solutions to Turkey's problems. We are trying to turn crises into opportunities for our country by successfully managing risks in a difficult equation. Where wars and conflicts continue in our nearby geography, the negativities in the global economy continue to diversify. The African continent is dragged into new political crises. Almost no country in the world can see clearly in short. New uncertainties are added to the existing uncertainties.